Good morning, folks, and welcome to another Morgan Mondays in Redly Deadly Demption 2 with me, your pal Andy. How's it going? Everyone having a good Monday so far? Uh, I am, although I had to change into all my reddest clothes because um, the green screen wasn't having any of it today, so that's fun. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys are doing, uh, where you're watching from, uh, how I'm looking and sounding. Welcome to another beautiful morning here in Saint Denis. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Saint Denis sunrise. Oh, you love to see it. So today, just oh my, the mustache has grown out again. In the intervening, can we get a? Oh my, look at that. It's enormous. That looks like a level six to me. See, that's the power of the um, of this Xbox Series X. Your mustache gets even thicker with ray-traced particle hairs or something. That's probably what it is. Um, yeah, so we've got a few missions today. I know I said at the end of the last one that I was going to try and do nice things, but we don't, I mean, we don't have any nice missions to do, really. We've got just ones where we have to feed crime lords to alligators. So it's going to get, um, it's going to get pretty, pretty heavy. Just warning you now. Um, so I think we should probably, probably dress for the terrible deeds that we're going to do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to... Oh, all right, this is going to be cool. I'm going to vault over the balcony and land on my horse in one cool motion. So, Steedy, just stay stay right there. Stay right there. This is going to be cool. Okay. Yep. And yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Hey. Hey. Do you see that? You're not gonna. Nice to see some friendly faces around yeah. Here. You're not gonna say anything about the cool thing I just did. You remind me of a fella I used to know. It was. I mean, it was pretty high. I landed right on the horse. Underappreciated in this town, if you ask me. All right, fine. Well, we're heading over to the tailor. So. The day is only going to go up from this point for Arthur. Pat Hinsley uh, and Gelardis86 and Avi Nash are new members. Thanks, guys, for joining. And Josh Pirini says, laying in bed with a kitty curled up next to me watching this lovely stream from Napa. It's a great morning. morning. That sounds like a great morning. I've been to Napa. I want to go and do a wine tour or something. What time are you allowed to start drinking wine in Napa? I assume everyone just has it for breakfast. Um, all right. Time for some fashion. Right, so as I said, we're going to be doing some dark work, dark deeds, dark work. This stream, so we know. need to dress appropriately, which means I guess, I guess cosplaying as the devil, basically. Um, Peter says, "Hey Andy, thanks for keeping me company. Currently rocking my nine-month-old daughter Frida to sleep, so this stream is a lovely accompaniment." Well, might not be when the shooting starts, so enjoy it while it lasts. Um, yeah, let's get a sort of cartoon devil look going on. Which I think probably you go with the, the sort of the black, um, the black suit, and maybe like a red, so, a red shirt, red shirt definitely. That's definitely what the devil would wear, I assume. Hmm. We got just like a block red. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Could I interest you in trying? Okay, and then on? get that cool coat on. The one that's oh no, that's in my wardrobe, isn't it? All right, we'll come back to that. Now, what are the most probably cowboy boots, right? But have you got anything red? Oh, this catalogue sucks. 
Hmm. Oh hmm. my man, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to Ooh. me, plated quick draw boots with red, yeah. All right, love it. I'll have those. Thank you. You will look fantastic. Um, what else do we need? What have you got in a, a devilish accessory, sir? Hmm. Fingerless gloves? Quite devilly, isn't it? In a red? Yeah. Kind of an ox blood. Excellent I like choice. that. And... And... Yes. Yes, with the puff tie. And then... And then, if we get a waistcoat over it... Then we can see how that looks. Not... Yes! Oh no, the black... Yes, the black and red. Yes. Love it. Uh, okay, let's get that other jacket on. And then we can think about hats. We can think about hats in a second. This is important. That's it for now. All right. <laughs> Man, look at the way the boots match the waistcoat. That is excellent. All right. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to cover up the shirt too much with a coat, you know. I mean, that does go. There's something there's something about this that I the bold red arms that I I'm, I'm really digging right now. What have I got in the hat closet? That's I mean, that's a bit on the nose, isn't it? Yeah. Let's uh let's see what the catalog's got real quick. Just just real quick. Let's see what we've got hat wise over here. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here Are there any red trousers? Looking great. I wonder. And would that look weird and bad? Probably. Let's have a look. Hmm. Hmm. Now don't be fooled hmm. by their appearance. Those pants are as sturdy as they are handsome. All right. Everyday pants. In a sort of red. Mm, no, I think. I think black is. They've got a kind of jeansy look to them I don't really like. Yeah. I think maybe we'll just stick with the black the black fancy pants unless town pants what do you got for me? Mm. There are a few colors you can go with for this one. Black trousers I think. I mean the red is the red is fun, but I think it's a bit much. A pair of those yeah, all right. We'll never let you down. Go with that. And then hat wise. Let's see what we got. All right, so obviously not that. That's terrible. But my my Oh, really with the mm, it's Again, it's just it's not it's not the idea of a top hat. It's just that specific stovepipe hat that I don't really like. Does the big valley come in red? It does. Oh my god. Again, is it too is it too on the nose though? Let's let's see what else we got. Hmm. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Do you come in red? Not really. Okay. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, there's something about the bowler hat with this look that I actually kind of dig. I stand behind everything I sell in this place so you can purchase with confidence. It's a sort of like, I'll say Peaky Blinders. I'm not sure if that's what I mean, but. How is, how is that those colors, game? Come on. Hmm. This is... I don't say this lightly. This is the hardest decision in this entire game. That has got a weird, tiny brim. I don't like it. Um, so, what do you think? Wearing it out? All right. All right, I quite like this red estate boss hat. Attention from the fairer sex wearing that. Is that even red? Let me look at it in the light. Thanks. Pan out, camera. Hmm. Yeah. I'm yeah, I'm digging that. It's good for the cotton. Hmm. All right. I've changed my mind. I'm going back to the bowler. This is the. This is it. I've made a decision. I'm going to take the bowler, and we're going to see how we get on with it. Let's have a look here. Sorry, the derby, maybe. Which one was it? I've lost it now. There we go. Derby in the red. Now that goes with just about any outfit. Or in the black. Ah, the red's more on theme. All right. All right. I've made my decision. I'm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm off now. Bye. You look as long as you like. Thank you. Really. All right. Yes. Time for some dirty deeds done cheap. Um, should probably go and get a haircut as well, or at least a, just a trim, because this is getting out of control over here. Um, right. Yes. I think I know the way by now. All right, CD, carry me straight and true. Let's get this mustache sorted out. Sir, sir, you gotta help me. Ah, keeping the soap sellers in business with all that hair, huh? Only a trim or Is something that? fancy like. Oh, it might still be just level five. I don't know. Yeah, it is level five. I don't. I wonder why it looked bigger on the. That's interesting. Anyway, get rid of you, and then we're gonna go with the um, the swept back. That's the classic bad guy haircut, isn't it? Slightly shorter. Beautiful. Doesn't even need washing to look good. Oh yeah. Please. Tell Wouldn't mess with you. So the sort of guy who would feed you to an alligator. All right. Marks out of ten for this week's look. Pop them in the comments and see how we're doing. Oh, lots of lots of comments from people, which is great. Great to see. Um, let me set Steady, Steady Auto Horsing back to camp. And uh, we can have a look. Please, please. No, you don't. You don't recognize me. No. Oh, my God. All right, time to leave town. As if, as if you recognize me. Well, I'm done. Bye. Oh, 
wasn't really a good idea, just shouting at people you saw kill a bunch of people in the street. Uh, especially if they're dressed like the devil. I wouldn't. Uh, Nick Jeffrey says, Happy Monday, Andy. So how long before you get to sent to live on an island? Also, instead of crime lords, you could feed horses to the gators? What? Nick? That's a terrible thing to say. Why don't I feed horses to the gators? They're much better to feed crime lords. That's uh, a net societal gain, probably. Um, yeah, not long before I have to go and live on an island. Maybe even we'll get to it this stream, although that does mean we'll have to do the the bank heist, and that's upsetting. Um, P-Tail says, hey, Andy, thanks for keeping me company. Apparently, oh, wait, I read that one um, about Frida, but hope Frida is asleep now, Pete. Um, and... Yeah, doesn't get woken up by any of the gunfire later on. Jason Crispin says, just got home from a long night of work, only to be rewarded with another amazing episode of Morgan Mondays. Cheers for all you do, Andy. No worries, Jason. Thanks for watching. Uh, Nanyo Bidness says, did you see my Corazon o Corazon? Um, did I? I don't think so. Did you, where, did you tweet it? Sorry, I've been very busy recently. Too busy to even make Morgan Monday intro. So please do send it to me again. I really do want to see it. Uh, Josh Pierini says, my winery opens at 10 a.m., so I'm going to base wine drinking time on that. Whenever this pandemic ends and you're out this way, I'll set you all up. Thank you very much. I would love to. Uh, Susie Williams says, just had a really good job interview, so watching this to celebrate. Oh, someone needs help. Hey, you. Hey, What's the problem? Gotta help me. Uh, thanks so much for your streams, continues Susie. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, man. Yeah, I can help. What do you need? All right. Where is she? Yeah, all right. I'm on it. You stay here. Um, but yeah, I hope, the, uh, hope you get the job. I mean, if the interview went as well as it sounds like it did, it shouldn't even be a problem. Meanwhile, I've got a job interview for Hero. And the interview task is me rescuing this guy's wife. So let's do it. Yeah, I know it's an alligator. You're going to have to get used to them, Stevie. There's going to be a lot of them in this chapter. No, you are not. Bam, bam, bam. That's right. It's me, the devil. See all this good karma I'm getting now to offset later on. You saved my honor. Yeah, not a problem. So, better get looting, I suppose. What, a mess. what else you guys got? You Anything good? Wait, is this... Oh, you want me to <laughs> you want me to dispose of the bodies as well? All right, yeah, no worries. Happy to help out. I didn't think I'd be feeding people to gators this early. In you go. And the other one. There you go. It's a little dead guy raft that you can just... Boop. All right, all yours, gators. Dinner's on. <laughs> I can play in Mafia 3 here. There's some money I put away in the sack there. It ain't enough, but please take it. Okay. Predator bait for when I have to hunt the predator later. I'll come in handy. Appreciate 50 it. bucks. Good luck Jackpot. Uh, and a cigarette card. Great. Who have we got? Hey, now you quit that now, you hear? Ah, President Alfred McAllister. <laughs> Thank you again for all your help. I think I need to be alone now. It's the actual president. Boy, you better huh, stop okay. now. Alright. That's good. Steady, where have you gone? 
stop wandering off. Cool. Uh, Alright, where was I? Oh yeah, back to camp. Uh, yeah, which we are basically at. Great. Uh, TBA113. Steedy, please. Can you just... What are you doing, Steedy, please? Look out! Thank you. Uh, it says, finally caught a Morgan Monday in progress. Sorry I missed the eight-year anniversary in July. What is my horse doing? Where have you gone? Why is yeah. this Why is this happening? <laughs> yeah, sorry I missed the 80 year anniversary in July. You guys have been with me since grad school in 12, so please enjoy this late birthday present and keep up the great work. Thank you very much, and thanks for sticking around all this time. That's awesome. Uh, Amy Crosswhite says, birthday shout out to my partner. Uh, singing, Steve, I've got one aim <laughs> to wish you the best of happy birthdays. Yeah, you can you can sing along with the the start of uh, the start of this. John, I've got one aim to make us best friends by the end of the game. Sharon, to wish you the best of happy birthdays. That's how that goes. So happy birthday, Steve. Right, Dutch, I see you up there. You'll notice I've come dressed as the devil to do the devil's work. Yes, I will come up there. Hello, Mr. Jay. Would it kill you to say please? Hi, Susan. Don't be Dutch. Oh, and I got one of those cool stickers from C. Anthony Chris Chrisman, which says, Critical Hit! Um, I, ju I finished Yakuza Like a Dragon this weekend, speaking of uh, critical hits. And they really lent into the RPG. Uh, side of it. The final boss fight took me, I reckon, half a, half an hour, a solid half an hour of chipping away at uh, an enormous health bar and debuffs and attack boosts and all that stuff. But yeah, I did still really enjoy it. We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly yes, know Hosea, that. yes. It's about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we Just do tell me what needs doing. Need to put him out of and pay the devil his due. There ain't no easier way. Now I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting that's a, mangoes. That's a cold and shot right there from Dutch. Farmers. Quite the cold shot. We need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. I hope they do make another Red Dead and it's a prequel and it explains why Dutch is so friggin' obsessed with mangoes. Like there's some rich, inciting incident. So Darius of the Fallen said, did I miss Luke? Uh, Luke wasn't streaming today. We've got a, um, a secret upcoming project that he's working on. So, um, yeah, he's been busy with that, which is why he's been streaming a little less recently. But uh, he should he should still be streaming this week at some point, so keep an eye out. Dwayne G says, so there's a fan theory that Jack isn't John's son. In fact, some say he is Bill's. Andy, your thoughts? Um, no. No, he's John's. He's John's. But if he were anyone else's, it wouldn't be Bill's. I think it um, maybe Javier. So he'll be expecting I've seen I've seen that theory. Uh, I think that's right. a bit more plausible. Okay, makes sense. On account of how I do at least at this point in the game story, Javier is quite nice and Bill has never ever been in any way personable or pleasant to okay, be around. Follow me. God looks again, alright, this is the weekly appreciation of the lighting in Red Dead Redemption 2. Look at these god rays. Mmm. Mm, tasty. 
All right, so what are we doing, Dutch? Some stupid revenge that Hosea Thank thinks you. is a bad idea? For what? For taking my mm, side yes. There. It ain't about oh, side. Just, Feels like Hosea so Dutch, why can't we just walk fire. through the sun-dappled woods? Move on Maybe occasionally we could sing a song about trees. It'd be great. Folks, I wouldn't have to be dressed as the devil. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. Luke T. Simmons says, Howdy, Andy. So I went to the woods near Canterbury and I kept seeing slendy esque things. Ergo, thanks for scarring me like you did, Ellen. More Phasmo. Um, yeah, it's haunted around there. Britain's most haunted village is in Kent. Um, yeah, I'd like to play some, some more Phasmo. I think, it, I think it's great fun. Uh, yeah, if we can keep thinking up cool challenges to do in it. Or if you've got any ideas for challenges, pop them in the comments and have a look. But yeah, I'd love to play some more Phasmo. You tell me, Arthur. Uh, Brad Allen is a new member. Thanks for joining. I've really been paying attention to what you've been saying, Dutch. Is it mostly about mangoes? Uh, no, I'm not really interested. What? What? When did you become so small-minded? Not really, not really interested in that. Break up the family, go our separate ways. Just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. Mm. Yeah. So Patrick Gong says, did we not already see you do this mission? I distinctly remember seeing this in an OX vid. It's possible. I am replaying the entire game. So I'm definitely going to do stuff I've done before on the channel, but maybe with a new twist, like I shoot someone in the crotch six or seven times. You know, that kind of fun twist. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. What, what the hell time of day is it? Soon. Haven't I made that clear? 20 past 8. Like, like it in the morning, right? No way, it can't be. I've gone through an entire day trying on bowler hats. That ain't fair. You are I guess it's possible. Like I swear that woman yeah, everyone's poisoning everyone against you, Dutch. I You've never done anything before. wrong. You're great. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think... Michael would question going after Bronte? Uh, probably what's happened he is that the game has forced the time of day for this mission here, rather than me spending an hour for 20 years. of <laughs> real time trying on both hats. I, I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything. Wearing you down. It's wearing me down. The others I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. <sighs> Black one. So manipulative. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kira. Yeah, well, it's about to get a lot worse, Dutch. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. I know we will. Here's the other thing. Shocking revelation. He's not even Dutch. Another lie. Outrageous. Well, this is pretty atmospheric. It's like the start of Pirates of the Caribbean. Here we are. Let me do the ride, the not the movie. How do you know about this place, Dutch? All you do is sit around the haunted mansion and talk about mangoes. Maybe I'll just, maybe I'll just take a little, just in case, just in case things go down. Thomas, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Really? Because I noticed well, that friend. there's been no catfish for us to eat at the camp. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. If anyone can, I can. Well, can you not row? We'll pay you for your trouble. 
If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jewel. <laughs> Nick Jeffrey says, would you say Dutch is the Pierre Gasly of RDR2? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Of course. Arthur? It's not fair to Dutch. Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find... Adventure Beth is a new member. Thank you for joining. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Ah, the atmosphere. Come now, Arthur. Let's just drink it in. Take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a... An aging predator with a big mouth. <laughs> Roasted. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay mm -hmm. on the higher ground. I know how to not get so eaten by ground, alligators. Thanks, mate. Like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. An outfit I should do one time is just exactly copy Dutch's outfit, just to annoy him. I think that'd be good. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. What have we got? A crayfish. Nope. This one's empty. All right, I got a few more set on this way. Come on. You get a crayfish and yak is a, like a dragon, you rescue it from someone who's going to eat it. And then it becomes a summon that you can use in battle. It drops like a hundred crayfish on this guy's head and then they just all pince him with their pincers. It's pretty good. One of my, my more favourite summons. TBA113 says, Pirates, I have it on good authority that American horse pirate is an acceptable synonym for cowboy. I saw that tweet doing the rounds. Uh, it pleased me greatly. That um, someone could in a I forget which country it was, when someone who didn't um, <laughs> speak English as a native language was searching for the word cowboy, and ended up on American horse pirate, which is I love it. Cheryl Wilson says, "What do you think of the rumor that RDR one is getting a remake and RDR two is getting remastered? Taking it with a grain of salt, but would be amazing." A remake of Red Dead Redemption 1 would be great. I mean, they've already got the the bit of the map. Like, all Red Dead Redemption 1 takes place all in this part that I haven't been to. But if they've already got the map, Stop where you are. I don't know. Maybe they could. I don't know if they need to remaster Red Dead Redemption 2. I mean, it looks better. It's, a, you know, however many years old. A couple of years old now. But it still looks better than most of the stuff that's come out in the intervening two years. Um, yeah, I don't know right. if it really needs it, to be honest. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. What's it? Why are we wading hip deep through this alligator-infested water? I don't... I didn't quite catch the necessity of this. Seems like a bad idea. Okay, now we're neck deep, so... Seems bad. Give me a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Okay. Better not be an alligator. Oh. Oh my gosh, so it's true. It's true. Super crayfish. There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk Oh my about god. Nonsense. The were crayfish. I guess this was of the bayou. There's a man who was pinched by a crayfish and then he became a crayfish on the full moon, which it is. Let's hope it bites you first, yeah, Dutch, Dutch, let's hope this were crayfish gets you. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Maybe I've just just changed into this lovely new outfit. I'm not having to wade through this stink swamp. 
not happy. Uh oh, Gator, I see him. There, oh wow, tons of them. It's a GD Gator Jamboree out here. That's that frogger. So We've got to get across, <laughs> across the awesome road while the cars go fast. Exactly. Only instead of a road, it's a swamp, and instead of cars, it's giant bull gators. Oof. This water is gross. You want us to split up in this gator infested water? Just keep your eyes open. Not happy. Ditch Boy says, do you mean Crablante? Possibly. <laughs> what? Oh, right, so you're going with him, are you, Dutch? I'll just go over here, shall I? Fine. Not even a problem. Yeah, I'll go on my own. I don't mind. Oh, I got, like, fireflies. That's nice. Hmm. So we're looking for jewels. By which I mean the name, not like rubies and stuff. Jules! Jules! Hey! Jules! Jules, my man! If you're inside an alligator, no. you have to tell me. Hmm. Chicken Parmesan says, On the plus side, when your pants smell like crap, it'll be because of the swamp and not dysentery. Happy Morgan Monday is my favourite time of the week. That's true. It's important to find the bright side in every situation. Hey. Jules. Ooh, what's that? What's that light? Oh, oh, Jules! Hey, what are you doing up there? What are you doing? There's a monster! A monster! A monster? You oh my God, the were crawfish! There's a monster! Where? Oh, I wish I bought my skull rider outfit. Where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? Be better suited for fighting supernatural monsters. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. All right, I'll go and get the boat, Jules. You just you stay there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. I'll need a cannon. All right. Sounds good. Let's get one. Hmm. It's over here. Can alligators? How is alligators Stop. hearing? Is it good? Is it bad? Do they have ears? Do they just feel vibrations in the water? Does anyone know anything about gators? Got loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Patrick Long says, would you all redo Mars and Mondays if it was remade for next gen with a new engine? I don't know if we play the entire thing. We have played it through on the channel, which you can check out. Um, so, I definitely would want to play it, though, fellas, to check fellas, it out. Two new of mine. Oh, it's like I'll a punt. Jules, we are very happy uh, he's standing in the wrong end of it, like he's from Oxford. I thought I was gonna be out here this is very night. specific. What you doing <laughs> Localised uh, complaints about Twice certain kinds of boats. Uh-oh. Better be a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go How about Dutch does it? This is a bad idea. Oh my god. You'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. 
Come on, put you back into this guy gets eaten by a gator. You freak out so hard. All right, good. What did I say? All right, here I go. Wow, <laughs> that was some that was some water physics. All right, let's go. Jules, I'm coming. Um, yeah. Why don't I just shoot wildly into the swamp? Is that helping? Is that helping, Jules? Oh man. Nah, Jules. Jules. Jules! Oh no! Oh no! Jules! I know I, I didn't know him for very long, but in many ways, Jules is my very best friend. Oh! Keep keep surfacing and calling out! I'll save you! I'm coming! I got you, Jules, I got you! Uh oh, oh, that is that is big. That's big. That's big. Dutch, do do something. Shoot something or do something. Either is good. Stop bleeding into the water. We'll get sharks as well, and then then we'll be in trouble. Don't look behind me. Why? What's? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is, folks. He's gaining on me. Oh, my stamina. And I can't drink any tonics or have any cocaine gum. Man, I wish I had some cocaine gum right now. Yeah, it's draining my stamina quite badly, Dutch. Because I don't know if you've tried wading through this swamp with a guy over your shoulder being chased by an alligator. Oh, no, you haven't because you're still in the boat. I've got one aim. Alright, you son of a gator. Get some! Pew, pew, pew. Yeah! Mm. No time for this guy. Stop it! I say. I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, well, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try stop. Right, we're gonna have to get this leg off. Gonna be okay, Luckily, I have a shotgun son. with uh, slugs. Okay. I'll get rid of it. Just thank your old uncle All right, simple bandage mini game. Just a simple case of tourniqueting. I think I think we're just gonna have to whip whip the uh, whip the leg off. Yeah, you cool with that? I've stopped the bleeding. Ah, the snakes as well. Be okay. Oh my god! If he don't this swamp a is a nightmare. What next? Hippos? A fever. a fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back! God damn it. You again? Stop it. All right, we got the slug, we got the slug ammo. So it's gonna it's gonna still have it's gonna have decent range. Hold still. Oh wow, he vanished. Is that one of his supernatural powers? I think we have to assume that we're dealing with a supernatural gator here. Some kind of gator ghost. We get back now. You'll be alright, Jules. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally the little one's angry. Big ones is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, 
I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeaking. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water. <sighs> yeah, you weren't in the water with him, Dutch. Nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh my god. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic. For feed the him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Yes. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Thank you. you feed him garlic. You're just going to season him up for next time he's in the swamp. Very good. Feed him garlic and olive oil and some salt and cracked black pepper. Placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. All right, but we now have the life debt, which means he's going to give us a hand getting Angelo Bronte. I'll see you soon. Be safe. Which is good. Well. All right. Well, my dead eye's ruined. So let's. Ah, oh, man. Let's sort the cores out. All right. There we go. Looking good. So next mission will presumably be the Angelo Bronte one. But before we do that, hey, 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 it's Charles Chatney. Yeah. Time to see what our favorite degenerate artist is up to. How are you, girl? Probably some degenerate art. What a treat. As a nice palate cleanser. Between um, bouts of gator-related evil. Steedy, please, can you turning circle on this thing? Let's go. Francis Bannon's a new member. Thank you, Francis, for joining. Fran Fry says, maybe it's Sharktopus. I don't care, to be honest, as long as it bites Dutch, snatches his bum, just imagine. God, can you imagine if it just snatched his bum right off? And then Dutch was left bumless. Not so, uh, not so keen on going to Tahiti to farm mangoes without a bum, are you, Dutch? Nick Jeffrey says, if Red Dead Redemption 3 went even further back in time and made you play as uncle, would you boycott the game? Hell yeah, I would. I won't play as uncle. Why would, I mean, something pretty major must have happened to uncle to go from exciting video game protagonist to uncle. So maybe I would play it just out of sheer curiosity to find out what happened. Unless the game is just you being lazy and rubbish. And they're like, we're going in a new direction. We thought people had too much fun playing the last one. So instead, you just sort of blaze around doing nothing, <laughs> being rubbish. It's a big rubbish simulator. Ah, here we go. The Gallery Laurent, where the Charles Chatonnet exhibition is happening. Let's, uh, let's check it out. The Pools Abstract says, I went on a punt in Cambridge with my friends a few years ago and it would have been a lot more exciting if there had been gators. Yep, yeah, no gators, sadly. Um, the, the most danger you're in, probably, is when you go under one of the bridges and you raise your punt pole, someone grabs the pole and then runs off with it, um, which is something that I will not admit to ever having done when I was a teenager. Enjoy the show. That's possible. Hello, I'm here for the Big Arts show? Exhibition. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Blame you for what? The great art? Well, I certainly won't. The exhibition is through there, if you can I just don't it. like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just well, let's have a look, shall we? See his work. I mean, that looks pretty good. Progressive. Well, yep, this is, this is great. There's oh, a magpie eating, eating a cheese. I mean, that's, I don't know much about art, but I know what I like, and I like magpies eating cheese. Very good, very good. Got some mixed media, some uh, busts, marble. This is all great stuff. 
I think yeah, I don't see I don't see what everyone's problem with Charles Chatney's work is. There's this lovely picture of a dead baby. That's good stuff. Or yep, could be wrong. This is all great. Oh wait, no. Here's the here are the Chatneys. They're all uh, they're all in here. Yep, yep. Pretty much what I was expecting Martin, from Martin, uh, from Mr. Chatney. The man simply ca I mean, say what you like, but they you can't say you can't paint. They're obviously competently done. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame. Madam, art has no drawers on it. Art is bold and nude, also. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. In her delicate. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your behind? That's my favorite one. The guy that in the boat. <laughs> That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly rendered butt. Born. Stop looking at my husband's Never. Butt oh, look right at him. Stop looking at my mama. Well, Arthur loving it. Just like <laughs> fully That's loving disgusting. it. That's it. Hell yeah! Oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch. Arthur's just having the best time. He's great. Oh. Oh. Come on, horse. We are leaving. Hey. I'm coming after you, Fridgey. Hey. All right. Oh, all right. We're having a first-person fist fight, are we? Let me just get out of first person. Who else wants some? You, sir. It's a, it's a art gallery punch-up. And you. Now, who else says this ain't fine art? Still think tough? Hey, where you going off to, Frenchman? All right, bit of looting. Let's um, let's check out these these fancy boy hats. What about this one. Hmm, it's a little bit stovepipey. Why is everyone wearing such terrible hats? Come on, guys. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. What? It's a floating... It's a floating handbag. Is this art? I think it's art. How is it hovering? I don't know about you folks, but I think this qualifies as a Morgan mystery. All right, well, it's time to flee the art gallery on account of how um, Charles has sexually scandalized the entire community with his raunchy paintings. So um, I guess we're fleeing. Is that, what's, is that what's happening now, Charles? Yeah, it wasn't boring. Art should make you feel something, Charles. And angry is something. Punching is something. I certainly felt some punches. So, where are we off to? Yeah, we provoke it. Thank you. We provoke emotions. Enough emotions that I got punched several times in the face. You, I noticed, didn't. Now, maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Oh, Charles, you rascal. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Well, there you go. What a fun day for Arthur it's been so far. Now I guess we go and see Dutch and get about our, our dark work. Come on, Steedy. Let's go. Dutch, it would be so helpful to me if I could just meet you in town. Instead of over by the swamp every time. But don't worry about me. I'm fine. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> Alright. CD, I'm putting you in auto horse and I'm trusting you to not run anyone over or kick any cops or, like, ramp into a train or something, alright? So please just do that, okay? Thank you. How are you doing? Luke T. Simmons says, they're all enemies of Batman. Oh, wait, that's Crocs. Yeah. yeah, Killer Croc. But I think this might be the Killer Croc from Batman. It's big enough. Brendan Totten says, been in work, so only catching, uh, so only just catching this. Looking forward to seeing why Arthur's dressed like a wannabe Pinkerton. Yeah, the bowler hat does have a Pinkertonish quality to it, doesn't it? But I'm, I'm dressed all in red because I'm doing, I'm doing the devil's work. I'm doing dark deeds. Dirty deeds done cheap by me, Arthur Morgan. That's why I'm dressed like this. But maybe, maybe I should, for this, I should change into my Skull Rider gear. Because, no, I shouldn't. That's like the whole point of me dressing like this was for my dirty deeds. So let's, let's, keep, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Skull Rider is a hero, as we all know. A bit of an anti-hero, you know. He came, he'll get the job done. But, you know, maybe not in the way that that stuffy old police commissioner wants it to be done. It means he gets results. Emily Hill says, I had my first D&D session. I'm playing a half-sea elf bard who is the canon daughter of Corazon. Wow, okay. He was yeeted into a portal, lost his memories of her. She sings sea shanties and behaves just like Dob. Hope Pirate Dad is proud of her. Um, yeah, I mean, unless she's throwing money into a lake and then he'd probably maybe just sit her down and explain the concept of fiscal responsibility to her. Um, I don't know what a sea elf is, though. I just need to look that up. That sounds cool. Chicken Parmesan says, would you be interested in a prequel where you play as Dutch and he is adopting all his wayward young men and forming his gang? Be interesting to see Dutch's journey to the greedy idiot he becomes. Yeah, again, I don't, I'm not sure if I want to play as Dutch, but it could be a prequel during that time where you play as a very young Arthur when he sort of falls under Dutch's spell as a young man. I think that'd be interesting. You know, that picture of him and Hosea and Dutch when they're all young. Better times. That'd be nice. Arthur, please. William Kruger says the way I would do it is keep the identity of the player protagonist a secret until the end of the game, then reveal him as the one-shot kid. On. And you're like, oh, it was actually Uncle all along. So you fit. So Thomas, that would trick you into liking going. Uncle. And then at the end, bam, pulls the rug out from under you. You like Uncle, gutted. That would be quite the betrayal. <laughs> Hey, Bill. Helen Anson says, I would like Red Dead Redemption 3 to be Sadie's redemption arc, possibly in South America. It's basically the same era, and she still has a lot of unresolved issues. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. I'd love to play more Sadie Adler. And you could be um, Charles up in Canada as well. You could have the two, the two things. I think that'd be great. All right, so we're off to Angelo Bronte's house with the dream team, Arthur, John. Watch it. And then the secondary not-so-dream team of Dutch and Bill. Oh, but wait, Lenny's here. Okay, he's in the dream team. Lenny, John, Arthur, dream team. Bill, Dutch, nightmare team. And when they join forces, they're sort of in the middle somewhere. Solid Wesker 09 says, Did you ever notice that Skull Rider and Arthur Morgan have the same horse? It's coincidence. I don't know what you're talking about. Wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though I do. <laughs> well, love, leaving love aside. I... <coughs> oh. You think we got this? You'll hear that. Don't you never leave love aside. Look off there. It's all we got. All right, Lenny. It's you and me and John also. Now you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. You bring enough guns, Arthur. Come on. 
Actually, what did I... What do I have? Okay, semi-auto and Lancaster. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, what's the plan, Dutch? I assume you have one, seeing as this is your plan. Climbing, climbing the wall, great. Oh, this way, oh it. These barrels of tomatoes, nice. Lenny, Bill, you with me. Take some of these. Arthur, John, you take the left side. If you see a shot. Teaming up, Arthur and John. Okay. Smart. Good luck, Smart. gentlemen. Arthur. Follow John to the ends of the earth, John. Let's go. Let's go. Well, well, well. Looks like Mr. Angelo Bronte is doing pretty well for himself. With all the barrels of tomatoes he can eat. Oh, I've got a shot, alright. You want me to take it? Yeah, alright. Nice, John! Uh, yeah, so I guess we're going loud now, guys. Is that the plan? Let's do it. Ouch. All right, everyone. Uh, Dutch perceives a minor slight from your boss, and so I guess this is happening now. It's just the way Dutch is. Sorry about it. Yay. I know it seems like an overreaction, but the perceived slight. You know, it's a lot. Bannister in the way. Come on, Bannister, work with me. A Bannister always pays its debts. Thank you. Alright, heading into the house. Oh, I've lost my hat. Just a disaster. Oh, shoot it. Yeah, no worries. Now kick that damn door in. What are you What are you doing? Kick the do the thing he said. Thank you. Can I Can I not have my automatic shotgun? You know, the one that I bought with me that's much better than this double barrel shotgun. Fine. Might be time for some explosive slugs, maybe. That'll be fun. Maybe a treat for these guys. Whoa! <laughs> hey, nice. Oh! There's a hat. I'll have it. Right, who else we got? We're going upstairs. Hi, folks. Again, sorry about this, but perceived foot slight, you know how it is. Oh, did Dutch die? Excellent. I say we, I, I say we continue, gang. Let's just carry on. Let's just carry on and see how we do as a gang without Dutch. Maybe let's not just call the whole thing off. <laughs> uh, I can't, no, I want to use my my good auto shotgun. Can I just shoot the lock off from here? There we go. Right, good, thank you. Now, give me those explosive slugs. 
Just give me give me a second here. I'm trying to I'm trying to put in the explosive slug. This is amazing. Alright, let's try and not get Dutch killed. Still, what the hell? Now John's dead. Can you guys not clear a floor on your own? <sighs> Alright, fine. I guess I'll have to do everything around here. That. Bill, stop T-posing. Honestly, you're the worst gang I've ever been affiliated with. Right. Slugs. Let's go. Now, if everyone could stop getting shot, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Can't leave any of you alive because you'll just shoot John and Dutch and it'll be rubbish. Who else? You? Oh, here we go. These fellas. Anyone else? Mate! Did you not? Really, you couldn't handle those? John, come on. Mate. Bam! Okay, that was cool. That was worth waiting for. No. He's going for it. Alright, he's going to be in one of these rooms. Time for the explosive slugs. Nope. Although that is... That is a nice, nice library. Maybe we should all become crime lords. Seems like a pretty sweet gig. Hello? Here he is. Ow! Ah, oh, dude! I'm sorry, friend. All right. We were going to let you off, but you just threw a gun at John. That's it. Yeah, John. Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Let's loot him first. Thank you. Ooh, $159. Thanks very much. He's probably got some good stuff, John. Why don't we just nick it? Uh, like I said, oh, man. I kind of want to rob everyone, but that's all right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Fontaine. Oh, sounds like police whistles. All right, time to get moving. No. Uh -oh. Oh, man. Let's go. Thank you for actually doing something for once. Useless. All right. Let's go. Go, go, go. Run the helmet. Come on, the police. Mm. It's okay. Got him. That's that's our our Samuel the boatman. Come on, let's go. Put him in front. Bill, 
Can I have Angelo Bronte's weird little fez? Oh, come on, Lenny. Actually, I'll take that smoking jacket as well. If he's just going in the swamp... All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh, hey, big man. We gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. No, don't, don't from give I'm any sitting, perceived slights. You're the one deserving a pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money. It weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are not. Uh, you I'm not sure if this is the the way to go, Angelo. Nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> and when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You. You, you are what people are running from. Again, I possess it's a cool shot that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. No, they are good at smelling filth, huh? So oh. filth has got to be disposed of. Oh. Our friends of oh. are gonna seems come and rescue you. you seems a bit over the top, Duck. Call them now. You call them. Everyone's just like. This this all right? Is this fine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, John. It's in there. It's pa page page th 30. That part. You just got to got to look at it. Got to read it. It ain't nice. You wouldn't know, John. You've not I read it. I've read them all. But it is us. And they say him. it's fine. I figure it might as well be him. Oh, good thing I dressed devilishly. Well, John, what do you think of that? Pretty messed up, huh? Oh, there goes all his blood. All his blood came out. Any, anything to say about that, Arthur? No? Man. I messed up. <laughs> cool. Um, Ambelita says, Red Dead Redemption 3 should be playing as someone other than Arthur, but Arthur is an NPC. Then we can get another Andy song, Art, I've Got One Aim. Yeah, I could write nice songs about Arthur. Be good. Arthur, you should grow a moustache. It would look good. On your face. J Dog Skit says GOT reference so smooth, Andy. Assume in reference to the Bannister always plays his debts thing. Uh, Shay Gray says I've missed the last few streams due to uni work, translating Beowulf, and writing more dissertation info on Red Dead Redemption 2 with Morgan Mondays as a source. Yeah, this is a very academic. Um, it's a very academic live stream, as I'm sure you all agree. It can definitely be cited in academic. Papers and such. Ah, uh, if we do this, then we've got to go to Guama. But we've got to go to Guama at some point, folks. We've got to go to Guama at some point. And it may as well be now. Oh. Let's just, um, let's just for no reason go and talk to Lenny and Hosea. Just, you know, spend some time with them for no reason. Lisa Leo says, hey, Andy, watching you play Red Dead Redemption while working on one of the perks, uh, while working, is one of the w perks of now working from home. Excellent. Just pop it on in the background and do, you, do your work. And then you can occasionally look up and see me feeding people to alligators. What a treat. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. Good morning. morning. We've done the work. I've been in town. Morning. Look. Watching and, and 
Look, it's going to be fine. We're just going to we'll do the mission and then we can enjoy the rich experience of Guama with its good story that is, is good and makes sense and is necessary to be in this game. <laughs> Frodo Baggins says maybe it'll be a Dutch mission that turns into a Sadie mission, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe it'll be good. Uh, Eric Lovecastle says the chill stream was promised. I know. What the? Oh, no, Uncle's dead. All right, this is good. At least something good's happened. Uncle died. All right, I'm going to roast him real quick. I should have broken your neck long ago. Oh, no. Here we go. You revolting old bastard. Just to make me feel better about what we're doing. Boy. Hey. What? What do you mean, what? Why are you only giving me a diffu- I'm right, I'm not diffusing this. Quit with the rockets. I'm tired. Game, I think you like Uncle too much. Should let me roast him more. Should let me dunk on him. Why would you gray why would you have the antagonize option and grey it out, honestly? Alright, I'm gonna get a hat back on. In fact, we're gonna be robbing a bank, aren't we? So maybe I do, maybe I need to change. It's still it's still dirty deeds. Hmm. Alright. We're gonna change up to a bank robbing outfit. Going full on, full on black hat cowboy, bank robbing outfit. Let's get that good coat back. Where is it? Okay. Yep. Good. Might keep the waistcoat, actually. It's pretty great. Uh, chaps, thank you. I mean, again, you can't see them, but I'll know. So we'll get those on. And... And the big valley. These the same. That is not blue, right? That's black. That's a dark. That's darker, isn't it? All right, fine. And then I think that's that should do it. Let's just change these out for the check ones. Oh wait, no, black ones. There we go. Yeah, that's good. And. All right, ready to go. Looking good. All right, Dutch. You dumb dummy. Let's do your stupid plan. Oh, he's downstairs. Of course he is. Let me just excitingly bolt over the. Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no hmm. more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city. There are police, but as far as Shay Gray says, fun fact, Booker DeWitt, the protagonist of Bioshock Infinite, way. was a part Abigail of the Pinkertons. I, I like to imagine he was hunting down Arthur Morgan. I think the Pinkertons were mostly just to break up strikes from people who didn't want to pay their workers. That's probably the kind of Pinkerton he was. 
City cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. That's what Jose is saying. Digging the new look, though. I mean, I, I think real I desperado agree. vibes. We do it at night. There's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm. I'm just making. I sure say we listen to Jose. Execute it properly. That's Every my plan. What do you all think? Because we did not yeah. execute properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. Detail, he says, how excited are you for Hitman 3 right. VR? P.S. My first time donating to any live stream. Glad it's to the hashtag best member of OX. Ah, oh, thanks, Detaily. Um, I'm excited stress. for Hitman 3 VR. I don't have a VR headset, so um, this might be the thing Travel that makes me light. get one, finally. But um, I was talking with Jane about this, and okay, I've changed. You got Didn't need to sure. put on an outfit. So, we rob ourselves a bank. I'm not going to complain about this outfit. It's pretty sweet. Living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days. I guess they've got to force what you're wearing in Guam, don't they? Oh, Bill, get, get a better suit. Look at John, though. Yeah. Looking great. Um, let's go, let's go. Yeah, I was talking with Jane about Hitman, and it's just like a. It's going to be like the holiday simulator. It, you can just go and hang out in these beautiful Guam. tropical locations, and not even have to kill for? anyone. What just sit there and enjoy John, the ambience. I'm just trying to stay real oh, yeah, let's just appreciate how everyone's, how everyone's dressed. John's kind of like, looks a little like that um, pre-order DLC for Red Dead Redemption, the Deadly Assassin one, where he had an eye patch. Just a good, just a good look. Just a solid look. And I am hatless, which I'm fine with. Forget that, it's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This Micah is all in white. Town, Why are you even here, Micah? This is a big city bank. This right. Micah character. With security, guards, police. Give okay, me that antagonize option, game. Let me do it. We've been over this. The plan. All right, go One over the plan. Let's hear it. Come on, let's hear this brilliant plan. Hosea and Abigail draw out mm -hmm. the police. We go in calm and fast. John now listen up, fellas. We're going to rob the bank. Smash cut to. I don't know how people knew we were coming. You're literally screaming. Dutch. Got it. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Is it? Is it is that enough talk? Oh, well, I'm glad that Mike is here. I can feel safe in the knowledge that we've got an absolute loose cannon wild card with no impulse control on the squad. That's, that's really setting my mind at ease. <laughs> Gentle Mandrill says, is Mike going to a wedding? Yeah, I seem so after this. He's got plans. <laughs> One more time. John, please. We're on the same side. Calmly does, Calmly does it, fellas. <laughs> Yes, this looks very non-suspicious. Certainly won't draw the attention of anyone. You dummy. Now remember, when Where's we rob the bank, shoot all the people so they die and then get the money. Okay. Well, at least I'm going to look good doing it. it ain't no crime at all. Now, my horse weapons, please. I would like... The Bolt Action Rifle. Thank you very much. They stole what this country could have been. I will also take... What will I take? 
Shotgun? Will I need one? I mean, it's going to be mostly... Yeah, why not? Have some explosive. The bolt action will keep me keep me good for the uh, for the long range stuff. Yeah, yeah I'll be fine. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John. Will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> so heavily armed. Oh. <laughs> All right, the distraction went off perfectly because it was planned by Hosea. And now, on to the part of the robbery that's planned by Dutch. Let's see how it goes. Oh, Arthur, not the lantern. Dutch, stop pushing me. Who do you think you are? Who the hell's mask is that? I completely missed that. Is that Javier? Okay. That is a weird mask, Javier. Would you please have senior bank manager here open up the Um yes. Hello, would you like to open up the vault? This uh, auto shotgun has explosive slugs in it. Get over there and open Make a real mess of whatever. So I would advise. Just, you know, playing along. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Look, they've done a little painting on the door. That's good door work, Fitzgerald bros. You wanna hurry up? I'll give you a little tap if you want. If that would speed things up. Feels like it would slow it down. Alright, fine. Open the vault, come on! Everyone's just pushing me around today. Can, I, so, can we just take a second? Arthur, you're with me. Let's clear this out. It's so weird. Get all the drawers, just get those oh, safes yeah. open. Anyway, safes, right? Sorry, yes. We need the combination for these safes. Tell them the combination. Come on, please. Okay. Die. Now. Just. A little bit of safe cracking. Okay, now what's the second number? Seventy-two. Oh, gone past it. There we go. Alright, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. Fifty-four. Come on. Very slowly. What's taking so long? Yeah, I'm trying to press 54. Yes, I'm working on it. There we go. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? <laughs> what did I tell you? Uh, right, what do we got? All right. I mean, there's no point, is there? I'm trying to rob anything else. There you go. I think we got a problem out here. Come out! It's over. Shit, Abigail. Dutch, get out here. Get All right, Hosea fans. Um, maybe just tab away for a second. Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton, <clears throat> let my friend go. Or folks. They are going to get shot unnecessarily. Your friend? <laughs> Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. Hosea, no. No, Say, uh, no. This 
is your deal, Dutch. Jose. This is so on you, Dutch, just FYI. Just FYI. Man. Sweet Hosea. Alright. Well, time to shoot everyone in town, I guess. Man, this guy's just standing in the street. No cover. He's bold. Stupid, but also bold. Yeah, unlike Hosea. Come in. Emergency, please, Arthur. Where are they all coming from? Send an arson firefighter! Find home! All right, everyone, let's go. Isn't that the alias that John uses later in the game? Because that's weird. Anyone seen Micah, by the way? Well, that rat is up to you. Where is everybody? What's going on down there? We lost control of the bank. The others are trying to hold them on. Okay. Someone up here with me. I'm not talking talking on the radio or something. There we go. The others are joining me. Not on, like, the code egg. Metal Gear. Nope. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Got the Maxim gun. No, thank you. Sorry, I must insist. Thank you. Still, bounty's still only $95. That's a bargain. Oh, good. Look who it is. Arthur! We lost John. Killed? Arrested. I couldn't help. Well, we better go. We'll be next. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find mm. a way across. Lenny fans might want to tap away at this point. Sure. Sure. Go on. Just, just saying. We can get, across get it. No, Lenny. Lenny, my boy. Lenny! <laughs> no! Oh, Lenny! God, no. There's we can do. We gotta keep moving. If if John weren't still in the gang, there would be no point in sticking around anymore. Now that we've lost we Lenny and Hosea. That's it. Just I go this way, you guys go that way. I can't I can't abandon John. Wait, he isn't quiet, actually here. Moving, oh, that's right. He was. Next few minutes. Follow me. One at a time. Oh, he gets. Arthur, he gets got, doesn't he? Go he gets arrested. Gotta keep moving. Quick Man. And quiet. Come on. <laughs> Shattered both my shins. 
Uh, first time I played that, I genuinely thought I'd messed it up and you could save Lenny, so I reloaded the save, like redid the whole bank heist bit. Just because I was like, I'm sure, I feel like I just, I didn't get the, the dead eye quite right. But no. <sighs> no, poor Lenny. I don't believe it. Few people pointing out that the gang still has Sadie and Charles, which is a good point. Those they are both also good. But yeah, the cool the cool good gang has taken some heavy losses today. Micah, you why couldn't it have been Micah? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. Hate you, Micah. I got it. A boat. What you mean? We stay and here. And then we'll just I sail on over to Tahiti. To down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah. Well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. Or we die out there right now. Exactly. <laughs> so you admit my plan is good. Calm down. I knew you'd come around, Arthur. I mean... Ugh. Great job, Dutch. Just, just really solid gang leadership. Uh, Bogey the Bear says, you're going to do all that effort only to find they'll force you into a new outfit in a scripted okay. sequence. Follow yep, they sure did. Keep your heads down. I think I'd have looked cooler robbing a bank in what I chose, but that's fine. I'm a, a, it's, now I'm an escaping fancy boy. Escaping all fancily. All right, what are we doing, Dutch? Oh God, the cops are everywhere. Quick, get in cover and stay. Yeah, what do you think I'm doing, Dutch? Not an idiot. All right. We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on, rest you. You're in charge of this scripted sequence, Dutch. So how about you go first, yeah? Just by many, many guns just poking up over the window. <laughs> Jordan Salve Hudgens says, is it just me or does Dutch look like a vampire? <laughs> he is dressed like Dracula, I'm not sure why. That he chose to do that. Definitely my rifle's poking out from behind this seat. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said, Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. Okay, I think we're good. All right, Dutchula, let's go. So what are we stowing away? Shit, stop, Arthur. Or are we gonna steal a boat? What's going on? What's the plan, Dutch? Why am I asking? Oh, damn it. We're never gonna get past these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. Mm. See if you yes, can draw I'll them just do out. that, shall I? Draw them out. Fine. I don't know, make a noise, whistle or something. Yep, old Whistlin' Jenkins, up to his old tricks. Oh. Hello? Is someone mm -hmm. whistling out It's here? just Whistlin' Jenkins. Just 
up to his old tricks. Don't worry about it. Dutch. Dutch, this plan is bad. This plan is bad, Dutch. For us, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. not. Yeah, maybe not. Well, maybe some other bank heist happened just today. Waiting there for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them by being me. amazing, Charles. When they chase me, you God, go Charles the other rules. way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real brave. What in the hell? Who is? Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Yes, Charles. That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Combination of brilliant Charles and extremely stupid police officers. All right, well, let's go, I guess. <laughs> go, 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 go. And then what, vault into the sea and just swim to Tahiti yeah plan come on Arthur what are you doing <laughs> Micah in his silver suit now Sweet Monkey Tuesday says, Don't know if this has been asked but what are your thoughts on IO Interactive's James yeah, Bond project think it can live up to the latest sure. Hitmen's yeah I just want it to be Hitman, but with Bond instead of Agent 47. I think it's going to be brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'm very excited to hear more about that. I think that's going to be cool. So what are we going to do now? Oh, we just sail on to Tahiti, my boy, and become mango farmers. Introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shift in I think that's a fairly... Run from the law. Fairly yeah, accurate true. assessment. <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain? Hey, please? whoa, hey, Come buddy, it's me, the stowaway. Hey, what's the matter? What is this? What is this plan? Oh my god. Well, it's gonna take a little more gold, Great but I think Dutch we're gonna be okay. There. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading down to the islands. Taking some Pennsylvania coal. At least I still look now, great. Now, apparently, we're going to be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. Great. Good. Plan went off without a hitch. Love it. What are we going to do in Cuba? TBA113 says, with how many random things levitate in this game, maybe that Pinkerton just wrote it off as another Morgan mystery. At least we got some money now. There you go. Money and loyalty. Morgan mystery explains everything. That you can do. Whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but... Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? We're fine as long as no tornadoes blow up. Oh my god! I feel like this is this is all a sign, guys. <laughs> it's the worst anyone's ever robbed a bank, I think. <laughs> it's the worst anyone's ever done at it. Oh, I've been separated from Dutch. Whatever will I do? Go on, Arthur. You can do it. Why is the ship on fire? What happened? Get torpedoed. Uh, 
Dutch. No, sweet Dutch. Wait, I hate Dutch. This is good news. Go on, Arthur. Do it. Do a flip. Brian M says, hey Andy, enjoying the stream after a long stressful day. Thanks and keep up the good work. Thank you. I will attempt, I will try, I'll try. But uh, thanks very much for stopping by. <laughs> Just... <laughs> so, how did the bank robbery go? Well, we had a few, a few setbacks. Um, nothing major. Uh, two people died. We didn't get any money. We had to go on a boat. The boat sank. And now, now I'm not in Cuba. And I've lost my shoes. I don't even have shoes. I don't even have shoes. Who's going to feed little Steedy? Who is going to feed little Steedy? That's what I want to know. Who's going to brush and plait his soft mane? Her soft mane. Please tell me that, Dutch. Are you going to do it? No. Griffin Wolf says, Hey Andy, can I get a shout out for Finn and Sam? It's currently 4.30am in Australia, so we can't watch live, but it would be so cool to hear when we catch up tomorrow. You definitely can. Finn and Sam, shout out to you in Australia. Hope you're having a good Australian day over there. And um, thanks for dropping this message in at 4.30 in the morning. Um, hope you got some sleep. Uh, and sorry that it's Guama now. But, you know, we all have to deal with it. And D Turley says, Hey Andy, just wanted to let you know there's an app called Cameo where you can pay celebrities to say things and none other than the voice actor of Arthur Morgan is on it. Maybe he can do an intro. Oh my God, what a great idea. That is, That will be the best use of Cameo in history. Oh man. All right, I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look that up. We're just, going to, we're just going to be walking for a while. It's kind of Guamas, Guamas thing. I remember getting to this bit when I first played it, and I was like, <laughs> what? What is happening? Why has it become Assassin's Creed Black Flag? Not that I'm against Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I think it's brilliant. I just... I guess... Maybe I was hoping for that pirate cowboy crossover I've been dreaming of. Thought maybe that would happen, but... Hmm. Now, I don't know, but I'm going to guess my cores are in absolute state right now. Shy Violet says, get him to dunk on Uncle. Can you imagine? Can you imagine if I had my own bespoke Uncle Dunks that I could just break out? Just get those sweet Uncle Dunks out. Oh my god, that would be so great. Oh man, this is the worst I've been dressed in this game, I've got to say. I'm not even wearing shoes. Norson says Cowboys of the Caribbean. I made a, um, I don't know if anyone saw the Planet Coaster Let's Play that we did, but I made, we all did a different themed land in our theme park. And Mike's was themed on cars. It was like all sort of Monaco themed. Uh, James was all sci-fi with spaceships and stuff. And I went for a dual theme of Cowboys and Pirates and I called it um, Pirates of the Cowboy Rian. So do check that out uh, if, if you get a chance because I was very proud of it. I thought it looked great. Antonio Garza correctly points out that the pomade still looks amazing. Yeah, the pomade holds. I want to say this is a great advertisement for whatever brand of pomade this is. Upper Duffer says, After I played this part, I was so mad I couldn't sleep, just laying in my bed stewing with anger at Dutch leaving Arthur on the boat. There was more than enough time for wait for, to wait for him, SMH. Yeah, right. Agreed. Mustache is still looking good. Got a good vibe with the beard coming in. But yeah, Hucka Duffer. This is outrageous. I can't believe anyone puts up with anything else out of Dutch after this sequence. Outrageous. 
But, you know, Guama. No drama, it's Guama. And now it's just going to load in Guama. Nice and quick, because we're on the Series X. Look at the state of these cores. And you just you just know that all my core replenishing stuff is gone as well, don't you? All right. Well, there's some smoke. It's quite nice. This is uh this will be a chance to have some rest and recuperation, right guys? Bit of a relax. Hey, uh, it's me, the guy you left for dead on the boat. Yeah, no, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Not even a problem. Patrick Long says, Arthur Morgan's final thoughts before succumbing to heat stroke and dehydration. Oh no, my shirt's dirty. Yeah, correct. There's a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have something to drink. Have a yes, please. Somebody give him a goddamn drink. Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Micah. Oh, we got you. Do your shirt up, Micah. You. You're terrible. So, where the hell are we? we Is are anywhere near Australia or, or Tahiti? Javier has the local. It's a uh, old sugar plantation island. Second island, east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? Maro Valdez says, what do you I think the mandatory know. liberation bit in Red Dead Redemption 3 will be? I don't know, well, but I know it's going to happen. We're gonna get Definitely going to be in there. How would they even make a game without a mandatory liberation a section? I mean, how would, you? How would it even work? I don't know. We are no one. What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? Loser says, coming out of my lurking state to say I rushed Mr. Red Dead Redemption O'Malley. 2 to play Fallout 76. Survival. I now watch at least five refuse of games <laughs> for my own health. Let me hear at least. Well, good. I'm glad uh, no. I'm glad you stopped I'm by. Thanks for joining. And that's rough, rushing a game. Really necessary? We got enough troubles around because uh, you're looking forward Mr. to something else. And then that not being so good in the end. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Vamos. All right, who's up for some more very slow walking? I know I am. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. You've got a long walk ahead of you. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... So yeah, we've got the dr the real dream team here of um, Dutch, Bill, Javier, and Micah Bell. Um, who, yeah, I hate, obviously. But um, I guess I guess John is uh, John's the one who sorts them out finally, doesn't he? That John, what a great guy. Anyway, back to the walking. Must pay attention to the exciting slow walking. This is the worst anyone's ever robbed a bank. Still, it's continuing. So then the ship crashed, and we thought we were fine, but then we got arrested and clapped in chains anyway. So... Just do a real... A real win soon. The luck's about to turn around, I can tell. It's going to be great. Meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel, junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino. Cualquier tontería que hagan, dispárales a todos. Every day I'm shuffling. Now, if you'll excuse me. Yeah! What now, Aiden? I don't know. What do you think? I guess that's the reason it never gives you that coat in your wardrobe. Because you just you lose it. That coat's just floating around somewhere in the ocean. Probably some merman's just put it on. 
sad. For what it's worth, I think I <laughs> Cara Dennison says, so which of these fellas is going to be our stand-in uncle? Well, Micah, I think. Maybe a new antagonised Micah intro is needed. Oh, it looks nice. Why can't everyone just be chill? Let's just lie on the beach and drink rum. Elvis Presley says, I mean, assumedly you each only had like a hundred dollar bounty in America. Just pay that off, yeah? Exactly. My bounty was only like $95 when I left. Just pay it off. Be like it never happened. Ah, uh, oh, look at that cool arch. Let's sail the pirate ship through that. Dutch, I think we should become pirates. My beard has grown in. I look quite buccaneery. I'm just going to get dragged along. I don't actually have to walk. I <laughs> can just let everyone tow me. Tow, just tow me. I'm tired. Eh. Yeah, there yet. I'm thirsty. I need the bathroom. I'm not sure about this chastity belt you put on me, Dutch. Seems weirdly invasive. <laughs> yeah. I really feel like this bank robbery is turning around, guys. You've got to understand, my cores are very bad right now. Everyone okay? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Reinforcements. We need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Debbie. Everyone, follow me. Beat, Debbie. Come, come, come. Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch! Sam Montgomery says, speaking of buccaneering, when is the next D&D stream? Uh, Friday. We're going to be playing D&D on Friday on the on the channel. Uh, Four o'clock UK time, so be sure to stop by for the latest misadventures from the Oxcentrist Guild. How's the bank robbery going, guys? Good? Still? Still good? Yeah. The worst. The worst anyone's ever robbed a bank. Hey, hey, is that my gun? Man. Seeing some hats, though. Could definitely get a hat off of this. Whoa, touch! Damn! Okay. Go off. That's mostly in that guy, but I think we got one in. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up before he gets some cover. Before he gets some cover. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I guess we're all excitingly vaulting into the combat zone. Yeah! Liberation, etc. Shoot this rock, I guess. Alright. Who's got a hat? Excuse me, cutscene. Rude. Quick. Try to put on a hat. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah. So unnecessary for the shade. Okay. I woke up well, like less than ten minutes ago on a beach. We must be very careful. <sighs> so, who is this Fusor? A tyrant, driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. 
Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets pushed. Well, time to insert ourselves again. into Little this whole situation, I guess. Is this still part of the bank robbery? I'm jungle, not sure. Hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust oh, you? God. I yes, you Dutch. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. One for him would still be clapped in irons, dummy. But I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. Gentle Mandrill says, could Micah please finally life. stow his belly away? I had enough of that view. Out. Yeah, Micah, There's do you think you could just below the cliffs. maybe just do it up? It right at least there. like a couple of buttons? The Please. The are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well. Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't Oh, sorry, Micah. Sorry, you're not having a good time. To that cave. Parker, I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I... I'm so yeah. sorry. Boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill, uh, do some more scouting. Carefully. <sighs> All right, there we go. We're in Guama. So, I guess, I guess the next stream will be very Guama-centric. But um, you know, we're going to power through. We're going to get back to the good stuff. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do fashion intros here. Pretty sure I've just got to dress like this the whole time, at least. My trim is looking good. The facial hair is still on point. Not even, not even a shipwreck can uh, can damage that mustache. And I'm going to drink this entire bottle of Guama rum because seriously, it has been a day, folks. Thank you for watching. Um, Keep it tuned to Outside Xbox this week. We've got some cool stuff coming up, uh, including Oxventure on Friday, so check that out. And a cool announcement tomorrow um, about some upcoming stuff. Uh, so keep an eye on that. Thank you all for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the next Morgan Monday. It will be Guama. Sorry about it in advance, but I think we can make it fun. It'll be good. I, I believe in us. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.